So I'm going to show, um, I'm going to move on to the next part of my presentation, which is about changes to um, KS's JIRA and Greenhopper practices. And then I'll come back to any questions that might be remaining after that. So we are changing how we use certain fields. I've covered some of them, but um, I do want to make sure I address them comprehensively. Fixed version was the field that we used to indicate previously, we used this to say what um, sprint and or milestone did we actually work on a particular ticket or in which that ticket was completed. And since sprint is now a completely separate concept in, G in Greenhopper, um, that means that we're now using fixed version to reflect the milestone or the version of our product in which we plan to undertake a body of work. So uh, if the product owners and I are reviewing the backlog and we see um, a particular ticket, a new ticket, we might say, yes, this, needs, this should be worked on in M7 or no, we should work on this in M8. Um, and, and we'll assign a fixed version as a result of that kind of decision. And um, I, 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 I'm working with, the, I have begun working with the product owners to document some prioritization practices about what is okay for the team to pull into the milestone um, after sort of milestone goals have been defined, um, what would I expect consultation on? Um, what decisions should I be making um, as a product manager? Um, so more to come on that. Um, and I'll ask the product owners as that, as that um, those practices evolve to be sharing that information with the teams. Sprint we talked about, managed by Greenhopper, can't change it in, on the JIRA side. Uh, effect version, um, in some cases we were using that to mean when did we plan to do work, which we're not using, we're using that, that's fixed version now, but we can still use effect version to mean the version uh, of our product or the milestone in which we came to know about a particular bug. So that might be our current milestone if, it, if you know, it's something that came out of a bug that came out of, of um, current active development. It might be a past milestone if implementing institution finds a bug in our M6 work and we've moved on to M7. You know, we'd put M6 in that effects version there. Component. Um, component, it, we previously had been using to represent both teams and themes of work. So we had things like East Coast one, and we had things like service implementation. Component is now being used to, f to feed the population of your team's board. So component is now reserved for teams. And we have moved the idea of themes of work into a new field called KS theme. It contains how we used to use component for things like we now have a theme called awaiting rice fix, where we used to have a component of KRAD fix, and we have existing theme, or we have other existing themes, service contract, service implementation. We also have new themes there. The FAQ gives you a link to where that list of themes that we plan, you know, we planned the, the core and PDT leads helped me plan what those would be. Um, but they're in the they're in Jira right now. You can see them in place right now. Planned team. I skipped this one by accident. Sorry. That is now a deprecated field. I haven't removed it from the screen yet, just because I need to make sure that I have um, migrated everything that was planned team into component. Um, but we used to use planned team to say what team we were planning to do work, and and that's what component is now. KS PDT Workgroup is a new field that we've created um, based on interest from the PDTs in having a way to identify a skill set or subgroup within the PDT that should be paying attention to a particular set of tickets in the sprint or, or perhaps in the backlog. 
Um, and I showed that via the swim lanes. I showed an example of how that sh that can be leveraged on the work board. Um, but that is now – PDTs, we're using that as a set of labels um, up until now. Um, and because it was something happening pretty consistently across the teams, to my understanding, um, the PDT leads and I agreed that we'd create a new field for that. So it's called KSPDT Workgroup. Finally, I think I mentioned this already, Epic Theme was the way that we used to associate tickets to Epics, and we no longer do that. I don't think I showed it, but, um, but tickets can now be dragged to drag and drop right from a sprint or a backlog onto the an epic in the epic panel on the left and um and then you can um you know Jira, greenhopper does the rest all of this information about this you know what these specific changes are and the, the the summaries of the change can be found on at the on our FAQ um, that we've uh, put links out to before. You can also find, um, let me nav to it. Do, do, do. Okay, here's our Quali Student Tools home. I'm going to go to the FAQ. Um, so we've got sections about product -wide, project wide practices, working with backlogs, working with sprints working with epics, reports, and boards. Product practices is right here at the top. These are the changes I talked about. And um, I've also included here an update to what some of you have seen before, our happy path of progression, epic stories, and tasks. It really comes down to just a handful of, of fields that the majority of team members are are sort of working with to understand what body of work their team is undertaking when and what is its status. So component, fixed version, status. We no longer have to kind of change components to move them back and forth between the team and the backlog. Um, you know, we no longer have to update fixed versions to take work in and out of sprints. Um, you know, we're, um, I, I really do truly believe that, that you know, if, if we can really leverage use of Greenhopper, you know, uh, by as many team members as possible, um, that we'll, we'll cut down on the, the overhead associated with maintaining JIRA, um, and we'll have sort of better, more consistent information. <laughs> 